I'm Jennifer Baird and I'm, I work across a few disciplines, so mainly printmaking and a bit of painting and collage and that's about it, yeah. I don't know, I was following the isolation photo project, which we really got into and it was very enjoyable for our lockdown to, um, you know, the kids got really into it and, yeah, so my um, work was from a prompt from that um, that time, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, so we were just a couple of months and it was like a walk in the park compared to what you guys have gone through. So uh, we didn't have community transmission or uh, anything like that. It was, um, you know, it was sort of like a holiday at home really. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> you probably don't want to hear that. Okay. It was hard though having all the kids, like the whole family here. Like it was always what are we going to do today sort of thing. So the the photo project was amazing. So that was like, oh, what are we going to do today with the photos? And that was really cool. So, yeah. But our lockdown was not a lockdown, really. Not really. Yeah. So it was from the prompt masked, which um, I think you sort of suggested, like, um, coverings or – and it could be interpreted fairly, um, you know, sort of loosely or you could talk about – um, masks in a photograph or yeah so I chose um, like masking tape so and with the banana which is um, Maurizio Catalan's comedian banana and I don't like he, he sort of came into notoriety because of this it was he got duct tape or gaffer tape and just taped a banana to a wall in the um, Art Basel in Miami I think it was 2019 and it was sold for like $120,000 so <laughs> The whole thing was, it was sort of light and ridiculous. And so I just stuck a banana to our kitchen door and uh, yeah, <laughs> it was, it was nice to on Instagram because people were like, yeah, this is, you know, like they, it was, people were laughing about it. So yeah, it, it achieved its goal, I think. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I think because each day we had, like you were saying, like to think outside the box and just sort of think, um, how can I interpret this? And some of the prompts were fairly, um, you know, like shadow or um, they're a bit more um, directly related to a photograph. And this one I could sort of interpret as, you know, like masking tape. Like I just went, yeah, masking tape. But I just thought, oh, yeah, that's, yeah. So that's why I chose, chose the way I interpreted it. Um, well, when Woolly said you have to wear a mask, everyone went nuts in Canberra trying to find face mask is my little doggy Mimi. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, yeah so and there was this absolute panic about getting cloth masks and but we haven't needed them and then a few people like I work in a co-op in in Canberra and a few people were making the masks and people were sending them to Melbourne because you guys had to wear them pretty much overnight there was you know this directive and you had to do it um, and then like like Canberra We've been really lucky that whole Canberra bubble is a thing. We're just in a little bubble in, you know, and that can be um, claustrophobic on a good day, but I suppose it really worked for us during this time. So like, uh, you know, our resilience levels didn't have to be anything like what you guys have gone through. We just, we've been really lucky. So I've got an exhibition coming up next year. So I've been working on, it's actually continuing on from the work. Um, excuse me, Megan, if you can see her. <laughs> and, and, and the work that I did for you guys in that this moment exhibition, which was a few years ago now, uh, I've continued on. So I've actually got um, 13 works along those lines of collage and um, all about the James Terrell sky space. And so that'll um, go uh, in a little exhibition out. We have a little um, gallery called Strathnairn. It's out, at, out in North Canberra. And so, yeah, that's what I'm doing at the moment.